We will now go through how to use the tribal, and you can download this scene at the Aroncad Academy on the internet, together with all the other 3D files that we use in this training course. The name of this scene is Tribal Basics. So after you have opened the scene, we can continue to do this together. A question that arises when you start to use a 3D software is, how do I move objects in the scene? Well, in IronCAD it's fairly simple. Before we use the tribal, we will use a simple way to move an object. In this case we will move the cylinder. So I will select the cylinder and then I will press and hold the left mouse button and I will drag and I can move the cylinder now anywhere in the scene. And I will drop it here. And when I drop it here you will see that the cylinder will be pointing perpendicular to the side of the crankcase. So I will grab the cylinder and continue to drag it and I will place it here at the starting point. So that was an easy way to move an object but with less precision of course. More often you will use the tribal. To move an object with the tribal, the object itself has to be selected before you can turn on the tribal. So in this case the cylinder is already selected and you also see the, the tribal icon here. And to activate or turn on the tribal, the easiest way is to click this icon. But you find this icon up here in the ribbon bar, uh, in the home tab, and you find it also in the assembly tab and here and in the tools tab you find the icon here. But the easiest way to do it to activate the tribal is to click this icon or using the Q key on the keyboard. But I will click this icon to activate the tribal. And we will concentrate on the red handles that we see here, the outer handles and the center handle. When they move the cursor to the center handle we see that the cursor turns into a hand and that means that, that now I can grab this handle and drag it. So I will press and hold the left mouse button and I can drag the cylinder anywhere in the scene. And if I do the same as the first time, I will drop it here on the side of the crankcase and you will see that the cylinder now will keep its position. It will not turn perpendicular to the side of the crankcase. So I grab the center handle and I keep on dragging and I will drag it back to the starting point. You can also use the outer handle to change the position of objects in the scene. So if I grab this handle, press and hold the left mouse button and drag it, I can change the position. I can also grab this handle and push. And when I let go the left mouse button, you see that I have a box where I can change the value to get an exact value or an exact distance to move the object, or in this case the, to move the cylinder. But in this case it's not important to change the, the value here because we are just practicing how to move an object. So I will continue by dragging this handle, drag it upward a bit, like so. Then I will click outside the tribal to deselect the axis. So now is the question, how do I get the cylinder back to the platform? Well, you just grab the center handle and drag. And when you do that, you see that when the tribal touches the platform, it highlighted in green. That means it will snap to the platform. And you can snap to any object here in the scene if you want to. But I will snap it to the surface on the platform like so. And I will let go the left mouse button. So now I can continue pushing and dragging the cylinder. Then I will click outside the tribal to deselect the axis. You can also right click the center handle and you will get this menu. For instance, if I select to point, I can move the cylinder to any point here in the scene. And if I click here, it will be placed exactly in that position. And if I, I will do it again, I will right click the center handle and choose to point and I will place it here on the top of the glass cylinder. 
and I will right click again. Now I will choose to center point. When the center point is selected, IronCAD recognizes every circle and every radius there are in the scene. So, uh, but in this case, I will place it in the center of this crankcase. I will click on this edge and it will be placed exactly in the center of that hole. Then I will turn off the tribal by using the, the Q key on the keyboard, like so. Then I will select uh, the glass cylinder and I will turn on the tribal and I will grab the center handle and I will drag it to this position. You can also use the outer handle to rotate objects. If I select this axis, now I can rotate around that axis by left dragging inside the tribal, like so. And I will let go of the left mouse button there, and then I will select this axis, and I can left drag inside the tribal, like so. Then I will click outside the tribal to deselect the axis. So now is the question, how do I get it back to the original position? Well, when the tribal is activated, you can right click anywhere in the scene and you will get this menu. And here you can choose Orient Tribal to Global. So I select this command or the option and it will be placed in the original position. Next step is to place this glass cylinder inside this hole. So I will select this axis, then I will left drag inside the tribal like so and let go the left mouse button and I will type 90 and hit enter. Then I will deselect this axis by clicking outside the tribal. And then I will right click the center handle and I will uh, choose to center point and I will select this edge and it will be placed exactly in the center point of the crankcase. But if you place it a little bit off the center, you can choose undo and do it again. So you right click the center handle to center point and now I will select this edge and it will be placed exactly in the center point of that hole. Now I will turn off the tribal by using the Q key on the keyboard. Then I will select the cover and turn on the tribal. I will uh, grab the center handle and drag the cover to this position. And we will place the cover perpendicular to this side of the crankcase. I will select this axis, left drag inside, and drop it there and I'll type 90 and hit enter. And then I will deselect the axis by clicking outside the tribal and right click the center handle and choose to center point and now we have to zoom in quite a bit to select this edge and it will be placed exactly in the center of that hole. If you placed it a little bit off the center you can click undo. You can do it again. Right click the center handle to center point of this hole like so. Then I will turn off the tribal. Now we will move all objects together. So I will select the crankcase first, then use the shift key to select the cylinder, the cover and the glass cylinder. Now we don't see the tribal icon, so we can use the Q key on the keyboard to turn on the tribal. And we can grab the center handle and we can move all objects together. And we can also select this axis and uh, left drag inside the tribal like so and let go and type 180 and hit enter. Deselect the axis by clicking outside the tribal, grab the center handle and you can move it to a position where you want it to be placed like so. So as you see, it's very easy to move objects in IronCAD when you're using the tribal. So in the next video, we will continue to practice how to use the tribal. So I will close this scene now and I will not save it.